Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration B 2014, problem 10. We have the integral from minus 1 to 0, x squared over x minus 1 dx. Okay, what I notice first, of course, is we've got a higher power in the numerator. And of course, whenever you have the higher power in the numerator, you have to do polynomial long division. Okay, actually, you don't really have to do polynomial long division, but I'm going to do it this time just because I skip it a lot and I feel like I feel kind of obligated to do it just so people know how to do it. So what I'm going to do is divide the denominator into the numerator, just kind of like when we're doing numeric long division. Same principle as numeric long division. So we have here what we want to divide into our numerator. And what I'll look at first is I'll look at my first term, the highest degree term, and compare it to that. What do I need to multiply x by to get x squared? Well, I can just multiply this by x. And then I'll just multiply x by x minus 1, and we get x squared minus x. Then here I'll just subtract. What's going to happen is the x squareds are going to cancel, so this is going to be like a 0 here. And then the one thing you need to be careful about is just getting the sign right. We have a minus, minus x. This is just going to be a plus x. And then what we do from here is we just try to divide again. We want to divide x minus 1 into x. Again, looking at our highest degree term, the x, if I multiply that by 1, we can do that just putting a plus 1 there. Then multiply 1 times x minus 1. We're going to have an x minus 1 here. And again, we need to subtract these. Subtracting the x's here, this is going to give me a 0. Minus times minus gives me a plus 1. So this allows us to rewrite the integral of this thing. When we divide it in, we get, for our value, we get x plus 1. This plus 1 is the remainder, and we need to put this over the x minus 1. So when I rewrite this, we'll have our bounds, minus 1 to 0. We'll just take this first part, we transformed it into x plus 1. And then we have to put this plus 1 over the denominator, x minus 1 dx. But now everything we have left is easy to deal with. This is just going to be power rule over here. So I'll just integrate. So this is going to be for the first term, x squared over 2 plus x. Integral here is going to be plus natural log absolute value x minus 1. And we just need to evaluate it from minus 1 to 0. So let's evaluate it 0. We're going to have, let's see, just I'll just write it all out. So we're going to have 0 plus this is going to be 0. This is going to be natural log absolute value of here plugging in 0. We're going to have minus 1. Absolute value of that gives me natural log of 1, but natural log of 1 is 0, so this whole part is going away. Then we'll have a minus. We plug in minus 1. This is going to give me half here. This is going to be minus 1, and then this is going to be natural log of minus 2. But now let's see. This here is going to be minus 1 half. Then distributing the minus sign here, this is going to give me a positive 1 half. Distributing minus to the natural log, we're going to have minus natural log but the minus 2 is inside the absolute value, so it's just going to be natural log of 2. And so for our final solution, we just have a half minus natural log of 2. Okay, so there you have it. Another example with polynomial long division. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.